Okay, here we have our three lovelies. Uh, we have a PTO side, uh, a center side, and a mag side. And uh, notice, I want you to notice where our arrows on our pistons are pointing. They are all pointing towards the mag. That's the correct way they should be. Um, also, I want you to note our manifolds are all slightly different. Uh, so they belong individual on cylinder. Uh, like I said, you can swap the cylinders around, but you need to have the manifolds on the correct side so the pipes fit right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap these lovelies in some paper and uh, set them aside. They're nice and clean and ready to go on the engine. Uh, if you notice, if I turn this around, inside is a baggie and uh, you want to keep all your parts together. This is the uh, bearing that come from that pin. So it wrote on that pin. So, it, you know, it'll, it'll remember it and it won't wear funny or anymore anyways. So I'm going to take and wrap that up. <clears throat> uh, another thing I want to go over with you on this is you might ask me why I'm doing this. And essentially, here's the reason why this engine's apart. And it's these right here. And these are your PTO and mag uh, crankcase seals. And um, a, a two-stroke engine, if you don't know, the crankcase is sealed, of course, <clears throat> and it draws the charge through the carburetor. If there is a leak in the crankcase uh, through these seals, if it sucks air through these seals, or say your fuel pump line comes off because it uses the pulses of the crankshaft to power the fuel pump, uh, it will suck air. And when it's not sucking air, or when it's not when, when it's sucking air, it's not sucking fuel. And remember, the oil charge is mixed with the fuel. So if it, what it's going to do it if these seals are bad, it'll lean it out, and uh, you'll end up with piston failures and uh, piston brakes goes down to the crankshaft and, and ruins your crank and does all kinds of uh, nice nasties to your engine. So that's why I got this thing apart. Essentially, in order to replace these seals, you have to split the crank, crank crankcase. And, gee, while it's out, you might as well check the bearings, and if the bearings are bad, it doesn't make any sense to put the engine together until you have it correct. Um, my bearings, when I spun them, I could spin them, and uh, the inwards bearings were fine, uh, the mag bearing was fine, the PTO bearing was rough, and it sounded rough, and you can tell. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. It's got 4,000 miles on it, and it leaned out, and it burnt the bearings up in it. Another way you can do is you can take the clutch. Uh, right there while it's on the engine and you can move it about if you can while the engines in the sled move it up and down if you get any play at all chances are your your uh, PTO bearing is bad on your crankshaft so you will need to replace that and this is what you have to do in order to replace this uh, I'm going to quit now and I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow and uh, we'll go over uh, we're going to fatten up these carbs and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, these carbs, as I said, were leaned way out for elevation uh, because essentially you want more, you, you know, there's no, less oxygen so you want your engine to huff more air and so what they do is they put smaller jets in the carburetor so it less gas. I don't know how they get away with that without frying the engine but they do and incidentally it just fried this one so you know I mean <laughs> it is what it is I guess and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a new uh, uh, rope in our recoil uh, every little thing you do to this you know a rope is ten dollars uh, but going out on a trail or you know being 30 miles away from your home you shut your engine off and you have no way to start it because your rope broke little things like that <laughs> Uh, help you out. So we're gonna, like I said, we're going over the sled and we're doing engine first. Uh, I've also got some uh, advice for uh, 
what we're going to do with the chain case. Uh, somebody put an aftermarket, actually, somebody put an aftermarket chain case on this and it has a reverse, which is a nice feature, uh, but it's <laughs> kind of difficult to find parts for when you when, you, when you're looking for it, but everything was okay there. The seals were gone in it, and it was low on any kind of fluid. So, but I caught it in time. We're going to put another chain on that. I'm going to show you little things that you can do to your sled to make it last a lot longer. How to uh, uh, put some hoses on, uh, bleed your brakes. This has a hydraulic brake. I'm going to show you how to fix bearings. There's also many grease fittings on this engine are on the snowmobile, uh, steering and uh, suspension and whatnot, and we're going to grease those and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you uh, how to pull bogies off and uh, we're going to grease those without replacing the bearings. We're going to grease those bearings so they last a little bit longer uh, provided that the bearings aren't already bad in them. So we're, we're going to look at all the things. We're going to look at the shocks and suspension and skis as we go along this and we're going to make it so it's a dependable ride. There you